The curtain is open on the Chattanooga Film Festival. News 12's Jesse Farley joins us live in the studio with a preview. Jesse. The Chattanooga Film Festival is in full swing this weekend. I talked to the director of the festival and then got a deep dive into one of the films. The Chattanooga Film Festival has been providing artists an outlet for a decade. Even though the arts and music and things like that have grown by leaps and bounds in Chattanooga, I didn't want to see film get left behind. Chris Dorsch, festival director, is proud of this festival and is excited for its success. Uh, in year 10, we feel like it's worked out. We just got named one of the 25 coolest film festivals in the world by Movie Maker Magazine, so we feel like we're doing something right. The festival runs through Sunday, and many films will be shown over the next three days. Uh, we spend a whole year scouting out films from all over the world and try to bring the best of what we assemble here to Chattanooga every year. And One of those films was created by a Chattanoogan. Anya is a 1970s period piece. It's a horror film. It's a revenge story. Alex Prevet is the director of photography for Anya. I was in charge of the general look of the film, how it was lit, and uh, the creative process behind that. The creative process must have paid off because in just one night, the movie was filmed. Yeah, we shot this overnight in Teleco Plains, just one night. Um, we shot it from about 5 p.m. to 4 or 5 in the morning. Prevet is excited to bring Anya to his hometown. Having a hometown showing like this, especially at the Reed House, which is historically known for being haunted and everything, having a horror film there is exciting, especially one that's been made locally. Um, that's a really just cool thing to have. The Chattanooga Film Festival will run through Sunday. Anya will show at 10.30 tomorrow morning. Anya will be premiering alongside 12 other Tennessee and student-made films.